Okay, today is Tuesday, November 14th, and we've got some new Guild Wars 2 news. The newest blog post with a sneak peek of an upcoming weapon uh, coming to a class has been added to uh, the, the news page. Uh, I can't talk. <laughs> Rifle Mesmers direct allies to the nearest emergency exit. Um, they did already say in a uh, stream a while back uh, that the staff on the warrior and the rifle on the mesmer actually i don't think it was a stream i think it was an interview but in any case they said that they were going to be support oriented weapons so let's see what this is hey everyone my name is taylor brooks i'm a designer on the skills and balance team here at arena net expanded weapon proficiency is coming in 2024 during the second major update for guild wars 2 soto each profession will have access to a new weapon today i'll be giving you a peek at mesmer's new weapon the rifle Rifle is a long-range support weapon packed with healing and tools to help your allies. And there is a video, and I have the video already open here, uh, and let's check it out. Alright, first off, I'm already disappointed because I wanted to see the rifle fire clones. I wanted the person to take aim and fire and a copy of them just supermanning was going to come out of the barrel and just deck the other guy in the head. So that's already points against it, but that's the trailer. Uh, next up though, Portal Power. The rifle is a versatile weapon. As an example of its flexibility, skill 3 inspiring imagery allows the Mesmer to throw out a beacon for their allies to rally to that will burst after a delay and grant them might and fury. However, the Mesmer can detonate the beacon early in a pinch with abstraction, which becomes available when inspiring imagery is used. So they probably just hit the three button two times. When the beacon is detonated early, it will heal allies instead of boons and it will damage enemies. So you gotta choose. Uh, so I think we might have seen that, hang on. That. I think it's that. Because it said throw. Uh, throw a beacon. So I'm guessing that right there was the animation of her throwing it and instantly detonating it. I could be wrong, though. Uh, the weapon gets even more exciting when we look at skill 5, Singularity Shot. You shoot a bullet at a target location that grants barrier and resistance to nearby allies. A singularity will linger at the impact, and it can be collapsed with dimensional aperture, which is the reactivation of skill 5. The collapse singularity becomes a single-use, one-way portal that an ally can use to teleport to your location. This skill can be a powerful tool to bail out an ally from a sticky situation with your careful positioning. Okay, so I've got a couple of immediate thoughts looking at this. Um... Why do you have to press 5 again to make it become the portal is it just because you don't want to accidentally troll people maybe or is it because the thing before it's a portal continues to pulse barrier and and uh, resistance uh is it one application of barrier and resistance or does it pulse it until you detonate it into a portal the se my second thought is uh this is thresh click the lantern uh, League of Legends had a character named Thresh. He could, he had a lantern on a chain. He could throw it to someone, and if they clicked it, he could pull them to his location. Um, now here's the thing. Very skilled players will do incredible things with this. In PvP, you're gonna see wild plays. In raids, you're gonna see crazy new gimmicks people come up with. It's going to be amazing. Like, the clippable moments are going to be amazing. This will not save idiots. If they're standing in the fire, they are already below the brain threshold to click the portal. <laughs> this will not save stupid people. Because this requires stupid people to do a thing. And they're already not doing the thing. <laughs> they're not doing the easy thing. They're certainly not going to do the hard thing. <laughs> so, this will be incredible in like uh you know organized groups of any game mode this will not make a difference uh, when uh you know billy is standing in the fire uh, <laughs> uh rifle will open support options for mesmers and provide interesting decision points for uh players in moment to moment gameplay 
You'll be able to try out all of the new upcoming weapon and profici profession combos during the expanded weapon proficiency beta event starting at 9 Pacific on November 28th and ending at 10 p.m. Pacific on no December 3rd. Please note that since this is a beta, there will be placeholder UI art and audio assets for some of the weapon skills. Be sure to tune into the expanded weapon proficiency preview live stream on November 27th at noon Pacific, UTC minus 8, to get a more in depth look at all the new weapons. Um, and then there's a, a picture of a, her with a clone. So we know the three throws uh, a boon thing, and if you hit three again, it detonates and becomes a heal and damage thing. The five does a barrier and resistance thing, and if you hit five again, it becomes the portal. We do not know anything about the one, two, and four. One of those skills makes a clone, ma ma makes a gun buddy. Uh, so that's what we know so far. Um, as a support enjoyer, I'm very interested to see where this goes. Uh, you know, w will this open the door to this Mirage or Virtuoso or Chrono or core supports of any type that could be solid? I don't know. I'm keeping my eye on it. I'm cautiously optimistic. But, you know, if, if it doesn't work out, I'll go back to my druid. <laughs> so we'll see. If you've got any uh, questions, problems, thoughts, concerns, anything that you think I've overlooked because I'm not a Mesmer main, just sharing the news, leave it in the comments down below and so others can see it. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the next one. I believe we've got four left.